Hello there. It has been a while since I went thrift shopping. Today we're at Stain Marketplace here in Tampa. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, they will probably have a lot of new stuff, which I like. The owner buys estate sales and basically puts it all on the floor. I'm also going to check out another thrift shop in Tampa Bay. There are two called Red, White, and Blue. I'm gonna check out one of them. And so let's see what we can find today. Come along for this adventure. Straight off the bat, umbrellas. I don't think I need them, but that's kind of tiki-ish. Maybe we'll get lucky today. Maybe that's a sign of things today. You know, I'm always on the lookout for tiki stuff. Oh, and everything down here is a dollar. This is a dollar. Maybe, maybe I should take that. I don't know. I already noticed the big mirror that was here the last time I was here is gone. That was a good piece. I knew that was gonna go eventually. Here's some postcards. I'm assuming that they're for sale. I'm always on the lookout for Hawaiian ones. Look at this Victrola. How amazing is that? Again, no room for it, but it is pretty cool to look at. Oh, I'm gonna go check out those albums over there. I wonder if they saw my video on how great the price was on their albums and then raised the price because last time they were only two or three dollars. Still five dollars is a good price compared to other places. It looks like this is show tunes. I actually have a lot of these from my dad's collection. I got some Halloween items. Big old pumpkin, a blow up Dracula some baby skulls. <laughs> This is an antique cigar humidor. Okay, that is really neat. All right, this is an interesting piece. This cat. I think this is a purse. <laughs> That's really wild. Actually, it's a backpack. It's only $5, but it is so heavy. So I actually just, I actually just uh, got on a, a call with him, a FaceTime call, to show him. But look at all that! It looks like it's definitely crashed, and he said it's just in too bad of shape. But that's the first time I've ever seen a remote control plane at any of these places. So I thought it was kind of cool. So all of these mix and match plates are only a dollar, and they're all vintage. Oh, these are kind of cool. These are the. Japan. Anything that's from Japan is usually worth some good money. And these are 50% off. If you can sew, which I cannot, look at all this fabric, only a dollar each. Definitely from the 70s or 60s, even. Uh -huh. I always check this section for anything tiki. I haven't found anything yet here, but you never know. I did get one item. As always, I will show you at the end of this video. Right now we are going to go to the next spot, which I think is mostly clothing, which I'm not interested in. I'm interested in finding like the little knickknacks and stuff that might be tiki, 
we'll just see what they have. All right, I have arrived. I will say that this location is extremely crowded as far as the parking lot goes. It took a while to find parking. And this is the one off Waters Avenue. There are two locations in Tampa Bay. I've decided to check out this one today. So let's go inside and see what they have. Well, first look, this place is huge. All right, let's start off with the books, see if we can find any old cookbooks. So I'm noticing some tags are blue and some tags are red. I'm guessing they may have like red tag specials or blue tag specials and that's why they have the different colors. But otherwise, the prices are the same. I'm also noticing they have recent titles. I have this at home, I have not read it yet. But this is a fairly new book, at least I think it is. And it's way cheaper than Amazon. So I'm gonna look through these and see if there's any, uh, maybe Colleen Hoover books. So my first thought when I came in here is, I don't need a cart. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I'm getting myself a cart. Typically I am not on the look for clothes just because I have closets busting at the seam. But I just like to take a look at what brands they have. So we've got a Forever 21. Oh, we got a Loft. Loft's a great brand. We've got 7th Avenue. I think that's like a lower end brand. Carl Lagerfeld, sounds fancy, $9.99. Uh, it looks like they may have these by color and by size. I'm in the large section yeah. right now. Uh, so yeah, so it looks like the Ann Taylor, that's a good brand. That's an extra large, not my style. But all right, so it looks like they've got some decent brands through here. Here's an instance that someone donated a brand new item from Marshalls. And so that would have cost you $20 and here they have it ten dollars so you never know what you're gonna find all right you guys know i love a good basket so i will be perusing the baskets all right let's take a look at some of these glasses so i asked a, a girl and she said the white tags are usually the lowest uh, we were having a little bit of communication issues but I, we figured it out it's just gonna depend i guess on what i want to charge this is cute Oh, it's a teapot. Ah, that's cute. I do not collect teapots though. It's really cute, but I don't think the price is good. That's probably why it's sitting here on the bottom. Again, you kind of need to know your prices. I think it's going to be a hit or miss here. This one is a hit. It's pumpkin if you were in the market for a pumpkin mug, which I am not. It's only 99 cents. So if I needed a mug, I would definitely get this. I already have a couple of fall mugs and don't have room for anymore, but that is actually a really good price. One thing I am noticing here that I do like is that they are putting all of the dishware sets together to buy as one. A lot of places when you go, they're all scattered around and you can't find a match. So this is kind of nice that they do it. This whole thing is only $8, so that's a good deal too. I'm actually looking for a platter. This is really pretty from England. I just turned it over, but I'm looking for one that's oblong. We broke one, so we need another platter. And I like just kind of random ones. So I'm keeping my eye out for that. All right, we got some platter looking things down here. The eggs won't work, obviously. Not really see anything standing out to me just yet. We also have lots of cookware and gadgets. If you were in the market for a German Stein, they have that here too. $5.99. Here's a random sculpture I just found. Right. This reminds me of something you see on Tom Sawyer Island in Disney World, the Magic Kingdom. Oh, it actually turns. Already have Christmas stuff out. I'd be more apt to buy something Halloween, fall-ish. It's still August. It's hot. I'm not thinking about Christmas yet. <laughs> It looks like it's redone. Yep, that was originally from TJ Maxx. Meh, on the price. Not so good. I don't know if it's rare though, so. I just realized I could use another napkin holder. My Snoopy one broke a while back. This is not what I'm looking for specifically, but it is really cute. And this one is $7.99. Here's a turkey. <laughs> Lots, just don't know what you're gonna find. It literally is a treasure hunt. This would actually go with my chef's salt and pepper shakers, but I have no place to put it. It's really cute though. Reminds me of the ride in Disney and, uh, and Epcot in France. On the base section, and the random things section. 
and the clock section. Just backpacks. More, lots of ceramics and glassware in here. That carousel is really pretty. But the pricing is not as good as the Steen Marketplace. I almost think that the vintage Rus might even have better prices, which is strange. Yeah, this is $30. I'm, I'm sure it's lovely for someone, but I'm looking for, you know, good deals. The kids section with a lot of kids clothing and toys and puzzles. So I think I've seen everything I need to see here. I'm mostly clothes here, which of course I'm not interested in. I was looking at the knickknacks. I found four items I'm gonna go check out with and I'll show you what I got and add that to the other place. So it appears that the different tags are off a certain amount every time you come in. So I guess right now I might be getting 25% off the blue labels. It looks like the green label is 75% off. I don't have anything in my cart that is green. I only have blue and I think a red. So hopefully it'll be a little less than what I anticipated. Okay, I have four items from here with my total spend being $13.93, and I did learn that it is cash only. Luckily, I had enough in my wallet, but it is cash only at red, white, and blue. Okay, I am back home. I also am testing out a new microphone system that I got for my birthday that I'm just now figuring out how to use. So I'm wearing a lav mic, and we'll see how the sound is on this. My goal is to take it to Disney and hopefully uh, not have issues with sound when it's windy outside. All right, so my total spend was uh, 1893 because for $5, I actually did get one of the albums. I found a James Taylor album. I do have a phonograph. I'm not going to play anything for you because I don't want to get dinged, but I did look at the album when I was there. Now it doesn't have the paper sleeve. Oh, it actually does have the paper sleeve. I take that back. It is in the paper sleeve and it looks pretty good. I mean, for it looks like it's not dinged or even dusty. So whoever's collection this was, they got a lot of use out of their James Taylor, but they also took really good care of their albums. So I'm guessing that this is going to play quite nicely. So it is his uh, Carolina, my mind, sweet baby James, all on my favorites. I've actually seen him a concert. So I'm looking forward to kind of chilling out and playing this uh, either tonight or coming up very soon. Okay, next up are the items that I got from Red, White, and Blue. Now, while it has a lot to choose from when it comes to clothing, it had knickknacks all around the outside, and their book selection was really good. Their pricing is meh for me, personally. I'd rather go to Vintage Roost, and the stuff I find at Vintage Roost is better, and their, their prices are pretty good for the stuff that I want. So it just depends on what you're looking for. It is, no matter where you go, it is definitely a treasure hunt. So far between Red, White, and Blue and Goodwill, I think I like Goodwill better. But anyway, I found this for a friend and it's a napkin holder. It was the red tag, which was $3.99. They were not on sale today, but I thought that was a pretty decent price. Some of the prices for some of their things were kind of high. They had a Kate Spade set and every single saucer and mug each was $7.99. So they knew what they had and they priced it as such. I also think red, white, and blue is going to charity. So that makes sense as well. But if you're looking for the great deals, your best bet is just to go to the estate sales, obviously, or to Webster on Mondays, which I don't always get to go to, but I thought that was a pretty good buy. So that was one find today. All the other stuff I got were books. Their selection here is really good and their books are in very good condition. So this is what I ended up getting. First off, is a cookbook. This looks like a really neat cookbook. Best recipes from all these different food companies. So Bisquick and Nestle and Campbell's. It just looks like a really interesting book. A lot of different recipes. One of these days I'm going to start doing recipes from some of the cookbooks I've gotten. I really want to do those orange pancakes I still have not done yet. So we will get around to it. Maybe on a, on a rainy day I'll do some uh, do some cooking. I am going to do a full 25 days of recording in a row in December. I don't know what I'm calling the series yet, but that might be an idea to start making some holiday recipes. So uh, I will have to start perusing all of the different cookbooks I have and figure out which ones I might make. 
All right. Next book is also for me. I found a Stephen King book that I didn't even know existed called Cell, a novel. So I am reading the Colleen Hoover novel that is the follow-up book to It Ends With Us, and I saw the movie, so now I'm reading the follow-up. But after I finish two love stories in a row, I think it might be time to switch it up to another genre, and Stephen King will take care of that. So that is, and look how great a condition that is in. So it was only $2.99. All of the books seem to be $2.99, so that was a good find. And the last one is for my husband. He loves Daniel Silva, and he said he had not read this book yet, so this one is going to him. This book is showing that it was from Borders originally at $29.95. It looks like it's in amazing condition. A little bit of stains right there. But other than that, it's in good condition, and it was only $2.99. So if you're a book lover, this place is really good. All right, well, that is our adventure for the day. Thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next adventure, which will be Disney most likely. All right, see you next time.